It was at the turn of the 20th century when Waikiki began to experience major changes. Kamakafili has more in tonight's Aloha Authentic. In Hawaii, names are very important. Did you know you can learn more about Hawaii and our history if you paid attention to the given names of our island roadways? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new. This week, we highlight a street in Waikiki. In the Ahupua'a of Waikiki, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a roadway which name translates to waited for. We're talking about Kalia Road. Kalia is the name of a section of land that falls within the Ahupua'a of Waikiki. As recently as the 1930s, the shore of Kalia was described as, quote, one of the most productive seafood producing bays ever known. The fishermen of Kalia caught so many fish that they became known as human fishnets. Stories about this land include one about a husband who was waiting for his wife after she was wooed away by a rival Maui chief. By the turn of the 20th century, fish ponds filled much of what is known today as Fort Derusi, including Waikiki's largest, Kaihikapu. In 1908, the U.S. military acquired 72 acres of that land. They drained it and filled it in with over 250,000 cubic yards of sand and coral. Today, Kalia Road begins at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, the area where Duke Kahanamoku spent much of his youth. It then continues into Waikiki, passing by the U.S. Army Museum of Hawaii. What was once known as Battery Randolph, the building of the museum was constructed with reinforced concrete walls and a roof up to 12 feet thick. Efforts were made to demolish the building via wrecking ball, but failed. The use of dynamite was rejected as too dangerous. The museum was then dedicated in the year 1976. Did you know? Now nah, you do.